Hey everyone, this is Zer with VBAstring.com. Right now we're gonna talk about excuse me, right now we're gonna talk about uh, some of the string manipulation. Uh, we're talking about more specifically the the function called write. So here's how you do the write. Say I want to go ahead and type in say I have on my Excel worksheet here first name first name and I have last name or I have name let's say I have last name name so I have name uh, Joe uh, Joe Maxwell so I want to take off the just the last name. It, here I have the first name, first name, and last name. Okay, I want to take off the last name and put it into this field right here. Okay, C2. I want to take the last name, put it in C2. So I'm going to count how many letters I want. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going ahead and saying I want seven. So now I'm going to the worksheet here. I'm going to erase this because I don't need this anymore. Public sub. Public sub. And I want to get get last name. So now I have uh, the cell. So I'm going to dimension a variable. S your last name here equals or as string. Okay. Next, I'm going to say the last name. It's going to be equal to whatever is in that cell. So range, I think that was uh, A2. Let's see. I gotta make sure, but I'm gonna type in something here. Let's see. Now, if I look back here, I say A2. Yes, it's an A2. So the cell is going to be A2. Okay, I'll pop back here. Now I have, and here's a uh, another way of going about and make it kind of kind of stepping through the code before you you want to test it as you go, and that that's what makes V8 real nice. You can press F8 under keyboard. That's F as in Frank eight, and you can go ahead and I uh, can see what's what's Rage A2. Oh, it's Joe Maxwell. Nice. Okay, so Joe Maxwell, I do need to have it, uh, the last name is blank. So I have brain Joe Maxwell. And now I go, and I can type as I go. So I can test that as I go. So right, if your last name is going to be that, then I'm going to have, then I'm going to use the right function here. Okay, I plan on using it. I'm looking looking down the road a bit. As to your last name. And the length. Notice that the, the two arguments here. String is going to be the last name. And then how much of that, that string do I want? Well, I said I needed, I think, eight. I think that's what I said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I'll correct myself. Thank you. I'm just kidding. So, so the last name is going to be Max. Yeah, Maxwell. Maxwell. And then I'm going ahead and and saying, okay, now I'm going to put it into cell. Let's see. The last name is going to be. I'm going to pop out this cell right here. C two. So range range C2 is going to be equal to str last str last name 
okay and then actually I'm gonna take this little yellow thing yellow marker and move it up here to range because I want to I want to populate this so it's gonna skip over this line if not so I'm gonna go up here and say I want the this range to be equal to that to be equal to Maxwell okay and then I'm done I press F5 again and I'm done or F8 sorry so I'm going to I'm saying Maxwell so here I am my range my uh, the right string so I have the last name being equal to whatever's in this here cell I'm taking just the eight characters from the right of whatever's in that cell a2 and then I'm going to make this cell equal to cell c2 equal to what's ever in the, the whatever's the last eight characters of whatever's in cell a2 so I'm make, putting that in the cell c2 and uh, if you look at the next video or look at the other one I'm going to trim it because you notice that I have this uh, this uh, empty space in the beginning so I want to trim that to make it look better uh, otherwise if I go down to this cell right here I really uh, I really only need 70 characters but I'm going to trim it and that's going to take off the the beginning space and the ending space so Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you later.